it's immediately evident that Dead Island is a game you'll want to take your time with. The environment encourages wandering, and your surroundings are typically flush with loot to liberate off barely dead bodies and discarded piles of luggage. It's the kind of game that willfully distracts you by piling on the side quests while you try to focus on the story, and litters your route with all manner of enticing divergent paths. It's the kind of game, in other words, that you'll want to play in bursts longer than an hour. Unfortunately, the preview build we've been tooling around with kicks us off after 60 minutes have elapsed. But such is life. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. The title refers to the island of Benoit, a small atoll in Oceana that's home to the Royal Palm Resort. The introductory cutscene in this preview build depicts a crazy reveler behaving quite badly in the throes of a drunken frenzy. Before he ends up passed out on his bed, he manages to harass or offend every other playable character in the cast. On three. One, two, fucking three! In the build we played, every character has an apparent weapon specialty. We ended up choosing Sam B, a fading one-hit wonder visiting the Royal Palm Resort for a gig who specializes in blunt weapons. Upon exiting his hotel room, it's clear that something is amiss. Things are quiet save for a pre-recorded emergency message, and the interior of the luxury hotel is eerily vacant. You did good, my friends. We're safe now thanks to you. It doesn't take long before this all-too-appropriate setup pays off in gratuitous zombie slaughter. Once you get into the swing of things in Dead Island, it's easy to see what the game is going for. The NPCs you meet offer quests aplenty, and there doesn't appear to be any shortage of that kind of direction if that's what you're after. Or at the very least, turn the warder back on. While you're chasing waypoints, though, you'll encounter quite a bit of stuff off the beaten path. Piles of loot, NPCs in need of aid, and of course, vistas that promise oodles of undead to slaughter. <laughs> Melee combat in Dead Island is immediately satisfying. As you tango with your enemies, a reticle flits around their bodies, allowing you to target specific body parts. It's a little too early to tell if the mechanic is actually as precise as it appears at first blush, but we had quite a bit of fun with it, especially after we picked up some decent weapons that allowed us to whack off heads or stove in skulls with ease. True to zombie fiction, trauma to the grape is the only way to ensure that a shambling corpse will not get right back up once its life bar refills. There are lots of cool little details that we couldn't get more than a passing glance at given the time constraint, like the RPG-style character progression system, which will echo of MMOs to anyone who's familiar with them. There's also a weapon upgrade system that seems fairly deep, and amusingly requires you to plunk down cash at unmanned workbenches. It appears the honor system is able to survive a zombie apocalypse. I hope that hurt! One hour is certainly not long enough for an earnest vacation at the Royal Palm Resort, but our little glimpse has definitely piqued our interest. Stay tuned to GT for more on Dead Island as its September release date approaches.